tonight on Hip on the Spot News. And uh, goes. The channel map is ready for the winter season. And rumors of the C130 module in DCS role are spreading like this and more on how I play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I am Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to take a look at the latest news in DCS World. DCS World Open Beta 2.7.6 is now live and comes with new improvements for the F-18 Sea Hornet and the F-16 Viper. Helicopters have also received new additions and bug fixes, especially the Mi-24 Behind and the Gazelle. The mission editor has received new elements with the inclusion of pylon restrictions for single-player missions and multiplayer servers. This will allow mission creators to limit weapon options per pylon. We also have the Xeon A6G Bomber, we didn't talk about it when it was added here on the channel, it's the first high polygon model available in DCS world for the AI bombers, and expect many more to follow. With this update, the channel map features many new unique objects and visual improvements along roads and canals. The addition of the winter season has been added, so get ready for more immersive missions and campaigns. With over 15 new unique landmarks such as new churches, cathedrals, graveyards, prisons and bridges, the channel map is ready for the stable version very soon. And check this out, trains will also now travel over the entirety of the map, so make sure you practice your strafing runs. And speaking of ground attack, the Mosquito is now available for open beta. Yes, we already covered it on launch day, but it's important to talk about it, as people are still tuning in for the first time here at How I Play. So the Mosey is in early access and according to Eagle Dynamics, now begins the second phase of development to add enhancements features as well as addressing the known bug lists. These are the phase 2 features they are working on. An operator AI for multi-crew, tire and shock absorber dynamics, looking forward to seeing this in action, especially on landings. Operable drift recorder device, engine failures, fire extinguishers, rocket armaments, and more liveries. Now the Mosquito launch was a good one. I managed to test it a bit, still learning to fly the Mosey. I find it more easy in VR than in a 2D setup. I spend a lot of time in the quick missions that are available in the channel map. The Airbase 2 was a treat, though I would have loved a bit more information being provided, but that's a personal opinion. We'll take my time, and when ready, we'll provide a startup tutorial for the Mosey. Some things need to be done right, rather than fast and sloppy. Moving on, video after video, teaser after teaser, the Apache Longbow is creating a lot of hype in DCS world. Got to hand it to ED, they went on the spot with it, if you know what I mean. It seems that the Apache may be the next big launch, and I know many of you are waiting for it with excitement. The last video showing off the M230 chain gun felt so real that it makes you think about all the videos we've been watching on YouTube from real life operations with the Apache. Needless to say, it will be fantastic to experience something like this in DCS. I got to mention that the sounds are impressive. Something tells me that the external sounds from the battlefield got improved. Maybe it's just me, but listen to this. And now compare it with this. Maybe I am wrong and they always were like this. But never mind that, we will find out very soon once the Apache lands in DCS world. Now you may have noticed that the Viper is getting more and more features and became the focus for ED, as the F-18C Hornet gets ready to be released out of early access. And in the current patch, together with many other improvements for the Viper, is the addition of the radar warning receiver indicator on the helmet mounted display. The indication can be enabled or disabled for the HMCS DED page. You can compare it with the Hornet system, but it's limited to only displaying the RWR gear priority threat. It appears on the top left of the HMD with the threat indication in the center. The notch in the circle indicates your head position relative to the nose of the aircraft. The diamond indicates the relative threat radar location from the nose of the aircraft. I linked the patch notes in the video description for more information on what's new for the Viper. And lastly for today, there is a talk about an official C-130 module for DCS World. It started with a screenshot of the C-130 cockpit showing off the AG radar. Now most of us know about the Anubis C-130 mod, I covered it very short in one of our older videos. 
it seems that suddenly the mod is not getting updated anymore. Now rumors and screenshots are one thing. We all know that ED announces these things at the right time. So if the AC130 will make its way to DCS as an official module, we will find out from the official channels. I can already see myself waiting at the end of every DCS video for that teaser. But until then, we got plenty of action right now in DCS world. And that's it for today. In the real world, I got a new job starting from next week. But don't worry, the channel is still up and going. It's my passion and during these hard times, it brought me joy and happiness to perform on the virtual stage as I would have before in real life. I got many projects, but you guys are on the top of my list. Thank you all for watching. Remember to leave us a like if you find our video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news from your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.